Sema ebona Katu wakawa Kutoka mautini Tunasema Tunasema ebona Tunakiri uwezo Heavenly Father, we hallow your name this day. Thank you for your grace and your love, O oh God, that you have continuously shown to us. Lord, thank you because to be alive this day, God is not uh, my Father, Lord God. It's a blessing to us, and God, we are glad. Uh, may your name be glorified, Lord Jesus. And we want to pray that, Lord, as we begin this day by having a devotion this morning, Lord, I pray that your praises be together with us. And I pray that, God, your grace may continue to abound in our lives and through our lives, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Welcome to day four of our devotion today. Um, yes, once again, may I express heartfelt gratitude for always being part of this wonderful time of devotion and uh, we do not take it for granted. Thank you for plugging in and uh, may the Lord bless you so very much from wherever you're watching us from. Um, our, week this, our, our focus this week has been on um, uh, the theme around the power to serve and, 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 and as we continue to serve the Lord, uh, we are humans and sometimes I think, you know, the, the energy, the enthusiasm sometimes just, you know, uh, kind of seems like it's fading away and we're not just, we do not serve God, of course, just not only in church, but we serve God wherever we are, you know, where God has placed us is a place and it's a platform, it's an avenue that of course has given us to serve and to continue to serve his people uh, in a great way and that's what God has created us to continuously do as we wait for his return. Um, so our devotional thought today we're going to be coming from the book of Romans chapter 12, uh, Romans chapter 12 verse, verse, verse 11. I'm reading from NLT and um, it says, it's a good verse straight to the point says that never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Serve the Lord enthusiastically. Some other version says, serve the Lord with zeal or zealously. So, and, 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 and of course it's, it's very clear on the whole attitude of course of us serving uh, the Lord. And of course, this reminds me again in Colossians uh, 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 3, uh, um, 23 says, you know, that we do everything as if we are doing it unto the Lord, that God becomes the ultimate uh, 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 object of our worship. And when we are serving people, we do know that by serving people, it, he's, he's using us as an extension of his service and his love to his children, to his children, whether they are clients that we are attending to, you know, customers, you know, whoever that we are attending to in our businesses, uh, it, it's, it's, it's an extension of God's love to his people, that when I come and I serve someone, it is God's way, it's his God using me to serve his people. And it's such an honorable thing and such a pleasurable thing to be used in God's service. And so the attitude this morning, of course, is that we do so, uh, with, uh, we continue to do that with zeal or enthusiasm, and we do it, you know, uh, more diligently we do it more diligently so go, we're going to be praying this wonderful morning that god is going to forgive us where maybe we have slackened we have become lazy you know in in serving him and in using the gifts that he has given to us that he has given to us that where we have slackened in using even our spiritual gifts that god has given us god is going to pardon 
our laziness or our slothfulness and and the bible of course has a very negative connotation when it comes to being lazy and being slothful the other thing going to be praying uh, is that god is going to re reinvigorate our souls one more time that we continue to 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 serve his people with zeal to serve his people with love to serve his people with humility to serve his people with uh, with kindness you know and and god is going also to help us to ha awaken in us you know the desire to do this not 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 necessarily even for money but for the sake of the very simple fact that in the first place we love god that we love god so those are going to be our prayer points our prayer focus this wonderful morning shall we pray our dear heavenly father in heaven we we we, we are glad that you have graciously given us the honor lord of being of service in your kingdom and 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 when i think of this lord god i i have this my i have this picture in mind where there are these servants who feel so much honored to serve their king and every servant who really feel they 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 are so much honored to be of service to the king and they will do that with a lot of love and dedication and commitment to lord and and and, and it's the same thing that god you call us to do because when we realize that father we we are serving fellow men and god you're using us as an extension of your love and of your service oh god to fellow men god my father then that informs that we're going to have to do this with a lot more commitment with a lot of more diligence oh god and and enthusiasm my father and and sometimes that that fades away that my father fades away the enthusiasm fades away and and, and service in itself oh god it's it's work and 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 it really require someone to take a, a service a kind of uh, a place oh god but again that's what god you've created us to become because in the first place god you created us to serve you and so god by serving other men we also get to serve you and you get my father glorified lord this wonderful morning we are coming with underst that understanding but we also come with understanding that god we have failed you many times and god there are times when we have slackened oh god where we become a slothful we become I'm lazy Lord Jesus where we, we have even rendered the spiritual gifts that father you've deposited in us oh god so graciously my father we have rendered them my father god potent lord jesus and we want to pray for your forgiveness and ask for your forgiveness this wonderful morning where god we have slackened in your assignments god that you have given us in our lives oh god in the name of jesus christ lord sometimes we give flimsy or all silly excuses oh god and we want to pray lord jesus forgive us oh god where we brought in excuses or oh good where we are brought in arguments where we brought in quarrels where we have even become a stumbling block to those who serve you king of all the glory father pardon us oh god pardon us we pray in the name of jesus christ where we have stifled oh god the gifts of the spirit in our lives father forgive us oh god to the glory and honor of your name and how we pray this wonderful morning lord lord reawaken in us in our souls and in our spirits as a church jesus christ that we're going to be serious about it oh god we're going to be serious to serve people we're going to be diligent we're going to be committed we're going to be hard workers oh god we're going to be faithful yes faithful to uh, continue holding on to the plow and never looking back and never looking back oh lord in the name of jesus christ our father i pray lord god my father reawaken in us re-energize us oh god my father to serve you oh god wherever you have placed us oh lord in the name of jesus christ our father and let my father the love of god be the one that dictates my father the love and the magnitude upon which god we serve fellow men to the glory and to the honor of your name we also want to pray that god my father lord jesus i'm gonna uh, have my father to Stir up the spiritual gifts that my father are within us that god they may continue that they may be operational lord that they may be operational in our lives and through our lives so that we continue to become a blessing my lord to our fellow brothers and sisters oh god to the clients that we serve oh god to the customers that we attend to god on a daily basis in the name of jesus christ our father to the glory and to the honor of your name may we be excellent in what we do may we excel wherever god you placed us oh god and may 
we do well, may we do well and bring you uh, glory at the end of the day, at the end of the day. And so we are glad and we are grateful this day and we hope to pray that God you may guide us this day and may your grace continue to abound, oh God, as we are going to our places of work this wonderful morning. May your grace, my Father, abound. Give us the joy, give us the happiness to continue to serve your people that your name be glorified now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm glad and I'm grateful. Thank you for being part of this wonderful devotion this day. Yeah, may the Lord bless you and do you good. Do have yourself a great day. Oh, oh, oh.